for either of you. This is just your first, I would say, signature win of the season. Just how does it feel to, after losing three times to Liberty, get this win? Yeah, I mean, it feels great. Um, I think we started off great, and that was a big difference for us. You know, when we played them before, they kind of got out to big leads, hitting a lot of threes. But I think our defense sparked our offense um, to start the game, and we kind of just kept that. And then, Caitlin, obviously your first triple double of your mm -hmm. career. Just what was going through your mind when you realized that happened? Well, I was trying to get the crowd to be quiet. <laughs> I think it was Leo was shooting a free throw, or somebody was shooting a free throw. And I was like, I appreciate it, but just trying to get them to be quiet. But um, obviously, it's really cool. I mean, um, my teammates have been finishing the ball really, really at a high rate. Like, my assist numbers, that's because of them. Like, just finding them in positions to be successful, whether it's AD, whether it's Liss. Um, that we've done a really good job of that. And um, But yeah, I guess it's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Caitlin, to go off that, uh, when you pulled down the 10th rebound, uh, the crowd went crazy. Um, did you know then that you had the triple double? <clears throat> I did, yeah. Um, I honestly wasn't like too aware, but like I think everybody was a little confused as to why they were going so nuts <laughs> over a rebound. I mean, they can do that every time, I guess, but it was a little different. <laughs> Aaliyah, how about the way you guys close the game defensively? To get all those stops, defense is something I think you harped on day one of training camp. What stood out to you about that final six minutes? Yeah, there was a lot of communication. Um, we tried some different schemes. Everyone just being ready for that. Um, I just think we defended well the whole game. They hit tough shots. They're a great team, but for us to really um, lock in and lock down those last few minutes, especially those last possessions, um, was great for us. And Caitlin, what... What is this last three game stretch maybe have you learned about this group? The fact that you were hung in there with Vegas, almost had that, and then got Phoenix before then. Like it feels like you guys are hitting a stride right now. Yeah, I feel like we're we're definitely playing good basketball. I feel like we're definitely finding some confidence in what we're being able to do out there on the court. We're playing together better. Um, but I think like the biggest difference for us has been when teams make runs, we don't crumble. Um, I think what did the Liberty get up? Their high, their biggest lead was 11 there in the third, um, and we, we just found a way to stay resilient and kind of close the gap, or that might have even been in the fourth quarter. Um, like, we always believe we were in the game, um, and for us, like, I think that's where we've kind of been able to change our mindset and really just stay together and attack it together, and when we got down six with three minutes to play, like, that's nothing for us. Like, that's two possessions, and that's exact, exactly what it was the next two possessions after that timeout. I had an and one, and then Kelsey comes down and hits three, and the game's tied up just like that, and we really don't look back after we got it tied. So I'm um, just proud of our group for our, our re resiliency. Let's go Zion, then Lou. This is for both of you. Lexi was in the game for the last, like, 12 or 13 minutes, and she, she made big plays on both ends. What does it say about her that, you know, her minutes have wavered, but in a game like this, we needed her down the stretch. She, she came through. Yeah, Lexi's always ready. Um, no matter what, she's always ready when her name is called, and I think you saw that tonight. She came in, made big plays, was great defensively, great communicator, was able to score that ball, get to the basket. I mean, she does everything that we need her to do, and so it's just great to see that she was able to do this tonight. For both of you, uh, according to what Caitlin just talked about, about not crumbling, um, as you did a little bit in the beginning of the year. Do you sense at all New York being surprised that you didn't go away when they started, they got used to being in those big runs and they got up by 11? Did you read anything in their faces that suggested that, you know, we got this, you know, we, we used to being these people, anything like that? No. I think so. No, I mean, to be honest, I didn't really look at their faces, so I don't know. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I think we just like played good defense. I don't think. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the league. I don't think they're, that's their approach. I don't think they go about things like that. I think they approach every single opponent with the same amount of respect. Um, and, you know, some days are going to be better for them than others. That's just how basketball works. They pride themselves on making a lot of threes. They shot 23% from three. Like, um, that's, you know, if we can do that, like, we're going to be in good shape of holding them to, you know, 10 made threes. Like, that's what they really want to do. So, um I mean, I thought they battled and, and were good, and, you know, they got down 14, they came back, and then they were up 11, um, so I don't think I sensed that at all. Go left to right, Matt, and Chloe. Yeah, mm -hmm. Leah, in Las Vegas, Caitlin was saying that that was probably one of the better crowds from an energy standpoint. Does today sort of top that? Oh, absolutely. I, well, outside, I of, our, outside our, of our home yeah. crowds are always number one. Come on, man. Absolutely. So, I mean, coming here, having this home court advantage is great. You feel the energy from the start of the game, from warm-ups. Like, you know that they're there. They're rooting for us. And so, it was great energy today. Go Chloe, then we'll go back to the second RBI. Yeah. Aliyah, I believe the last um, time you guys got close against Liberty is when you had that 
three pointer to tie the game than going to overtime last year. Just what does it mean to get this win and have a comeback win that you, know, you were able to close out this time? Yeah, I mean, it's great being able to close out these games, especially against the Liberty and the way that we played them before and the, those ending scores earlier in the season. And so to have this one, especially on our home court, get the win, um, and just how Caitlin said, like, we stayed together, we didn't waver no matter what, we were resilient. Um, Caitlin, you're the first Fever player to ever get a triple-double in franchise history. Um, congratulations on that. How much does that big of a win add on to that accomplishment? Honestly, like, I'm just I'm just happy we won. Um, like I've said, like, I take a lot of pride in being able to do a lot of different things for this team. Like, I want to be able to – I think we're really good when I can get the ball off the glass and just go in transition and find my teammates and set them up. Um, but like obviously 13 assists, like that means my, my teammates made 13, 13 shots on my passes. So um, that goes to them. Um, but I mean, I don't know. She's so humble, isn't she? Well, I don't know what to <laughs> say. Like, like, I, I mean, it's great. That's I don't know. cool, Caitlin. Great job, sister. <laughs> you got time for tier one Zoom. Uh, Mike Vopel, I'm going to start. <laughs> Matt, too, I'm in the room here. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Aaliyah, it seemed like um, you began to start churning out really good performances one after another, I mean, after you played uh, Liberty three times. So I guess how rewarding is it? Was it mean for you to get another crack at them and you know, put in another good performance? Yeah, um, playing against the Liberty this season, I don't think I've had like great performances, honestly, and so this one was really great. Um, just Kayla, I think, did a great job putting me in positions, getting me the ball. Um, where I just go right up, so it's great that we all have great performances tonight. Obviously, this is probably one your biggest win, most signature win of the season. Just what does it mean to be able to close it out? I think for your first win against Liberty as head coach. Yeah, first win against the Liberty, first you know win against the number one team. It's all just so proud of my of the players. So proud of my players. Um, they have been working towards this moment. They fought through some tough times, but just really proud of my players for this one. Bill Bratton back. Uh, Chris had down 11 there in the, early in the fourth and then ending on a 15 to three run over the last four minutes. Just where does that start? And as a coach, kind of the significance of playing a segment of the game like that to, to close things out? Yeah, I'm gonna take it back a little bit further in the third when they went on that run to start. Um, I think they had like 19 points in the first five minutes or something like that called a timeout and I think we only gave up five points the rest of that third. So that kind of set us up for our, you know, def defensively for um, how we were playing for our offensive run. Also, you know, this team is just learning along the way and growing every day. Vegas had, had some really good growth moments. You know, we only scored 15 in the second, 16 in the third. And at times like that in the past, we really, when our offense wasn't working, um, you know, we didn't play as well defensively and that wasn't the case tonight. Like we, we went up another notch defensively and then was able to close out with, I think, 28 in the fourth. So just credit to these guys. Played a hell of a game. Scott. One thing Caitlin liked was the fact that you guys were able to survive all those runs and respond um, something maybe that didn't happen previously. Why, why do you sense maybe that had changed here recently? Yeah, it's just growth, man. It's just, it's just um, this young team, um, least, you know, the least experienced team in the league, just getting these opportunities to be in these games and then learning from them. And that's, you know, you know, I know everybody thinks we should be winning every game of the season, but that, that's just not where we are, but just showed so much growth tonight. And even more to that, the last three games, you take a look at that Phoenix win, being right there with Vegas, the fact that you're in those games and now winning two of the last three against Powers, um, you're seeing that growth that, that you've been pushing for? Yeah, just so proud of this, this team. They just won't give in. They won't, you know, they just keep wanting to learn. They keep showing up. I keep, I keep saying it the resiliency that they show, the chemistry that they have on the court, how that just keeps getting better. And that just takes time. That takes time. And these guys are finding ways. Um, you know, Caitlin with her first, you know, the triple-double tonight. My gosh, that's incredible. Incredible. First in is it league history for a rookie, franchise history. I mean, you know, we just keep growing. Um, I thought Lexi Hall came in and did an excellent job tonight for us. Today, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Um, also, I want to say Demiris Dantas came in with three for three. You know, she's only had one practice with us once we've um, put her in um, in our, our group. So she's learning on the fly as well, but just three big shots for us, especially that baseline out of bounds. 
slip the GM is huge. Go bond them, we'll go Matt in the second room. Chris, to you a lot of conversation the last couple of days about the rookie of the year race. Would you like to use this opportunity to make it's not real hard to make her case, obviously with a triple double and everything she's done, but would you like to use the opportunity to make her case, Caitlin's Cluck case for rookie of the year? Yeah, I mean, I'm always gonna make a case for my players. She's um, first and foremost, she's the most competitive human being um, I've ever met. I really compare her to Diana Taurasi. She's always looking to find ways to get better. How can I help the team? What can we do? Um, but she, you know, she found a rhythm tonight. You know, she's, you know, the timing for our players is getting better every game. So some of the ones that, you know, some of the shots that, you know, those passes that she was make, making early, we just weren't ready for them. Now we're, that chemistry is there, that timing is there, and that's gonna keep getting better. Um, but she just wants to win. She just wants to win. And to me, I mean, she's gonna be my rookie of the year um, every day, every day. Yeah, Christy, everyone was so fired up in the locker room after the Phoenix win. I guess what was the celebration like taking down the best team in the league? Well, we gave them two days off in this last week, and so they really think that that's what it was. So that's the first thing they're talking about is needing two days off. <laughs> I just don't think we can do it. I have to think about it. I didn't say yes or I didn't say no. Um, you know, they, they fought differently tonight. And they know that. And they, you know, when I walked in, they were giving everybody the credit that, you know, they're really happy for Lexi. They were really happy for Dantas. You know, they're really happy they showered Caitlin and she was soaking wet when she came in here. Um, you know, they're just they're just getting um, where they're on the same page and able to execute things offensively, but we keep getting better defensively. And that for me, holding New York to 16 points in the fourth quarter, that's huge for us. That's the number one team in the league. And for us to do that, and they're a great team, but for us to do that, but to do it in front of our home crowd, the crowd was incredible. They were loud. It, it, it's just amazing that we're getting to play in front of these amazing fans at home. Being on the road five games is tough, but to come home to this and to get the win for our fans, it's incredible. No sign, and we'll try to go back to Zoom here. Christy, you talked about how well Lexi played down the stretch. Just what went into this? to the decision to leave her in for the whole fourth quarter. And what does it say about her that even though her playing time is wavered, she was yeah. able to deliver? I'll say it. Lexi Hall is consistent with what she's doing every day to make sure when her number's called, she's ready to go. And tonight, today, I just, she came in and she was so active defensively. She was guarding Stewie. She was guarding the Nescu. She was scrambling out on defense. She was getting able, able to contest on players, just just really proud of her effort, which is something she gives every night. Just, you know, and then she had some really, she had a big bucket of layup on the left side of the basket down there. Just her effort for us tonight. Whatever the team needs is what she's willing to do. And that's why she's just a great player for us and a great teammate. All right, let's try Zoom again here. Uh, Willie, you want to start? No, we got nothing. Anybody have one more in the room? Then Bobby, you want to go ahead? Yeah. Go. Chris, you mentioned how competitive Caitlin is. How does that manifest itself outside of basketball? And what other areas is she hyper competitive? I think just about anything that there's a score being taken, she's gonna um, wanna be competitive with it. I mean, we do the half court shot and I think she thinks that's like, like she's like, that's the one thing she's mostly concerned about throughout shooter, getting to that half court shot. She wants to win that. But that is such a trait that just, it just spills onto everyone else. You know, and, and I say it all the time, I compare, Diana Taurasi has that. She has that competitive fire, that competitive spirit, that just like, she just won't, you know, everyone else seems to get that. And that is just something I can't say enough about, appreciate her for that. Also want to say we shot our free throws extremely well tonight, which we didn't do the other night. <laughs> we, uh, Liz came in and did extremely well, all of them. I think we were 12 or 14 for tonight. That is, that's huge for us, and that's just got to keep getting better.